and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. And today, I'm going over the market. The Redux market has finally crashed. If you guys have known, if you guys haven't known, I've been talking about this for weeks now, saying that the Redux system was broken, the LTD system was broken because EA did not give us an exchange set. And I shouldn't say broken, right? The word broken. It, it, it defines that, like, I'm trying to say that the, the whole thing is just not working. Well, no, it works. The issue is EA made it entire, extremely hard. It's like it's like if um, you were giving food to a family, right? And you cut off the supply of food. Everyone starves, right? You, you understand that concept? Well, they gave us the Redux cards, but then they cut off the way to get them efficiently. So no one gets Redux cards. Like, it didn't it didn't make sense. Now, the first series, the series, two was, uh, series 2 was awesome. All the Redux cards cut in half value dropped hundreds of thousands of coins you know why because it was exchange sets so people were exchanging pulling them then monthly rewards and everything just went crazy and then we were able to finally get the cards and enjoy them this one they actually like went up in price at first luckily the weekend league monthly rewards came out if you guys already know those monthly rewards guarantee like 86 plus players fire fantasy pack so these cards are coming out left and right so has a whole big abundance of them on the block now and these aren't cards you quick sell for training so they're not it's like when the cards you quick sell for training will stay at a certain value people are always selling for training these as they get pulled they're gonna stay in in like flow in the market so obviously they're gonna keep coming down i'm still waiting a little bit because i really want i want like two guys are saying to get some more coins first where i can really go all in but it has crashed guys i'm super excited now let's go get into the auction block before we do real quick make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are loyal you're a fan always give the video a big thumbs up helps me out comment down below what you got what is what's your move with the redux market you guys gonna be picking up some players what players you want to pick up i personally want randy moss and donald but the coins might not allow for that at the moment and also make sure to give this video or should i say give this channel a big sub go down below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell come join the family now let's get into the auction block so real quick going on over to the auction block i'm not gonna i'm skipping all the low stuff guys no point no point for this video this video is about the higher tier stuff to show you guys what has really been affected by the monthly weekend league rewards and i'm a little slow i haven't i'm using some old remote that i i left my other remote at my girlfriend's house so i'm using some really old remote that the d-pad feels like it barely works and it's really frustrating me right now it's really frustrating it's not going down all the way when i go anyways anyways off topic coming over to the 88s the 88s guys look just look how cheap this is I cannot believe it. Honestly, if you do, have, if you guys want a training video, comment down below. I'll make an updated training video for you guys because training is at an all-time low. I don't even think it was this bad last year. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm forgetting, but 58k for like you understand what that is. Let me let me do the math for you guys real quick. I believe what's what's a what's 84 24 60 or 26 40? I think it's 26 40. 80 59k. No, 26 40. 22 coins per training. And that's not even the best value. I know there's better values than that. That's ridiculous, guys. I mean, if you want to use these cards, honestly, I mean, I've never been a fan of flashbacks, but at this price, might not be too horrible. You can literally get Jason Brett. Jason Brett powered up if he has one. Would be like an, would be an 80, 88 speed, 90 zone corner, and uh, if you powered him up and put lockdown on him. I don't know. Off topic again, guys. Let me stay on topic here. Let's get let's get to where we got to get to. So going on down, guys. The 88s. Personally, there's just a lot of great cards here that you could honestly use, like Aaron Donald, <coughs> Justin Tucker, Strahan. Hooper, Collins, there's just a bunch of great cards. Marcus Allen, that you could really use on your team here. And guys, guys like Aaron Donald, Dalvin Cook is a monster. Use him personally, he's a really, really great card, although there's probably better options at running back at this point. Just saying, a lot of cheap cards you can pick up here. Uh, those Mutt Superstars finally coming down in price. Those things were skyrocketing in price for the longest time. Let's get over to the 90s. I'm, gonna, I'm, keeping, this, I'm keeping this high tier today. Again, 90s have a lot of good usable guys, probably really good training options. What I personally picking up anyone from here, Alan Page is great. I'm gonna be picking up Christian McCaffrey pretty soon, and I'll tell you why. Guys, he is on pace to fall just short of Chris Johnson's 2007 all-time yards from scrimmage record, right? Christian McCaffrey might even break that if he has a few more, like, he just had like two or three more games above his average. Let's say his average is 140 yards per game. They're averaging that to be him falling short by like uh, 200 yards. If he has like two or three games with above 60 or 70 yards on his average, just or like one 300 yard game, just one blow up game, it's all it takes. I because think about it, Chris Johnson at the half mark of his season had only like 900 yards. He went crazy the second half of the season, so it's still very possible, guys. So I'm just saying, I'm gonna be picking up Christian McCaffrey at some point. If he gets below 100k or like nine, like right to it's a 105k, I'm picking him up and I'm power him up because we all know he's getting a card. 
I think it might be LTD, guys, but come on. How can Christian McCaffrey not get a card? He's literally breaking records. He is the number one, number one best player in fantasy. Probably the best offensive player this year right now. And he's not. he hasn't gotten his love yet. So, hopefully that time comes. I'm waiting for it. So, I'd recommend, guys, maybe I'd recommend to pick up some Christian McCaffrey power-ups at some point. I know I'll be scooping some. Honestly, that's a great idea. I'm going to be scooping a few Christian McCaffrey power-ups today. But let me scoop those before I post this video because you guys can steal them all from me. I'm just kidding. Pick up what you guys can. Lawrence Taylor, another guy you want to be picking up. Guys, Lawrence Taylor is going to get an absolute nasty card on Thanksgiving. I'm almost positive we get a nasty card on Thanksgiving. And you guys are going to regret not having him already. Power him up now. Get your coins out. Get, kill those coins now. And just be ready for when he comes out and start building up for you when you can buy him. And then pretty much wraps up just about these. Now let's head over to the Redux market, which is what I really want to talk about as the main point of this video. Oh my god, this D-pad, man. This D-pad. I can't stand it. I have to go pick up that remote soon. I cannot deal with this remote today. All right, we're here. So pretty much from here, a lot of things are cheap. Would I recommend anything? Ed Tutal Jones is pretty great. People have told me he doesn't get the rare abilities. Gene Upshaw is amazing, but I need to be a little cheaper. And then as far as these guys, we're pretty much at what I want to talk about. So let's go right into it. Let's go over to Program, Series Redux, and let's start rocking with it. So first thing, Matt Ryan, 250s. Uh, would I recommend picking him up? Guys, he's not horrible. Like if you power him up and everything, he's not, he's not, he's not that bad. But he reminds me just of Peyton Manning, probably cheaper actually. So it comes down to what you guys prefer. I actually really want Alvin Kamara. Did you guys see these prices? Alvin Kamara was like 800k, and so was Le'Veon Bell. Now they're 450k. Um, I really want both these guys, but the thing is, it would just be dumb of me because we all know in the near future, Barry Sanders, Ladainian Thompson, and Christian McCaffrey will all be getting cards, and I obviously want Barry Sanders or Christian McCaffrey or Ladainian Tomlinson. So it'd be dumb of me to keep stacking my running backs any more than I already have. Saquon Barkley's free, and he'll be a great backup no matter what. So I really couldn't mind having him as a second guy, but I don't really know who out of the other three I'd want to pick up. Now going on down to the more guys that have crashed down. Calvin Johnson, 675k. Would I recommend picking up Calvin? No. I someone asked me yesterday on, tw on Twitter or in comments, I don't really remember. If they pulled Calvin, should I use him over Brian Dawkins powered up? Just for for the you, sir, if you're watching and you want to hear, here's your little shout out. Look at Brian Dawkins. Same speed, one less excel, better tackle, better play rec, better pursuit, same uh, less man, less zone, 92 hit power. Now. What this pretty much tells you is that they have almost the same stats, except Brian Dawkins could force fumbles. He could chase people down better. Now, if you feel that, and he's 200k, so you save 500k, half a million coins, and you get a guy that can force fumbles. Calvin really can't force fumbles. That's all I gotta say. Especially with this year of the run-heavy game, you wanna be able to hit, force fumbles, and get. He's, he's more of a box guy. Calvin's not that, uh, not that physical. But let's keep on going. Andrew Luck, actually, the only thing that annoyed me is Andrew Luck and Michael Vick have actually went up in value, which is kind of frustrating because if Andrew Luck was like 300k, I promise you I would have picked him up as my quarterback already. His stats are pretty awesome. Like, people have messed me up with Andrew Luck. He's probably the best quarterback in the game, quite honestly. Then we got Rob Gronkowski. He's come down. I've seen him as low as 550k. But can I justify him? I don't think so. I was really looking into it. Uh, Rob Gronkowski, if you compare him to my Kittle, same speed, less strength, better catching, less catching traffic, less spec. Similar short, similar medium, and way better run blocking. So you get this in essence, you get the same speed, the same catching as the catching stat, if not better actually, and then run block. That's all I really care about from my tight end position right now this year so far. So until they start getting a little bit better, because he, right, they're not athletic enough to do a lot of the things that their stats say they can do. But the way his catching stats are, I mean, I, I don't use them like that. But me personally, don't think it's worth it. Next, we got Joe Thomas. I've seen them even lower than this. I'm sure you guys price. I saw Joe Thomas for 650 yesterday. But I recommend picking up Joe Thomas. Not unless he's like 400k. He's too expensive for a left tackle. And then we got Jadavion Clowney at 820. So this is where the bangers start coming out. 820 for Jadavion Clowney. I'm waiting for Lawrence Taylor personally, but he's a great buy for all you Jadavion Clowney fans. But just look at these prices, right? Julius Peppers was like 1.3 mil. Jadavion Clowney was 1.1 mil. So was Joe Thomas. George Kittle, 925. I saw him for like 800 yesterday. Obviously, it's really early in the morning. Prices will only go down as Legend Saturday kicks off and people start buying more packs and stuff. But Weekend, weekend League Monthly Rewards really brought this price down a lot. Randy Moss is within, within like, just, that's, that's six digits right there. That's it. I've seen this guy religiously over seven digits for the last few weeks. He was about 1.5 mil. He's now 925,000 uh, coins, 929,000 coins. If I see him slip to the 700 range or 800 range, I might pull the trigger, but I gotta be, I gotta make myself think properly before I do that because I really don't want to put myself in a hole for Thanksgiving and let's see what else we got I believe we do yeah we have Aaron Donald that slightly over slightly over 1 mil guys honestly that's a great price to be quite honest with you because Aaron Donald probably the best end in the game and 
for one mil it's not horrible for all you guys well i understand to most people one mil sounds like a lot and it is it's a crazy amount of money i can't even justify it i, I will never buy a card for a million coins but trust me you guys don't even know there's so many guys out there with like 20 000, 20 million coins who have just run in the market running so many have so many coins that for them this is a great price and we're talking about percentage down right so he went down like 40 percent in price so 30 to 40 so for him from where he started at like 1.8 to go down to like 1.6 Obviously, it wasn't just yesterday, but it's still progressed. If he gets like the 800k range, he would have been halved in price from when he first initially dropped. So that's still great as a market standpoint. Although I don't think I can never really justify spending near a million coins on a card. Deion Sanders at 1.1 again, really really cheap for what he was at. Now, if these cards all, I'm just waiting for these cards to all fall within a million. Now, my fear, this is my fear here, guys, is that as we get further away from weekend league monthly rewards, these cards will start to rise back up for the time being until something brings it back down. And without exchange sets, I really don't know what can bring them back down. So, for all you know, guys, these reduxes can get, they can get lost for the series. Like, they shouldn't, as long as they're the best cards. Maybe the only way these reduxes come down is if they drop, like, banger cards at their position. Like, they drop a brand new red and 93, 94 overall. That's way better than this Donald, and everyone picks him up. That's the only way I can see Aaron Donald going down in price. But if you bought Redux, Aaron Donald probably haven't powered up already. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the Redux thing. I think they're all worth it for the most part. Most of them are worth it to buy. But my per it's from my personal opinion on who I don't think you should buy at the price. All their prices are great for their cards. But some guys I don't think will justify it by their stats. But for a Redux card, as a limited time card, that's a great. All these prices are pretty great. But that is about it for the video, guys. Make sure you're down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment who you plan to pick up from the Reduxes. And if you... If you even plan to, if you even sit in the Redux filter, like, if you plan to pick some of these guys up, I, I plan to pick some of them up when I get my coins up a little bit. Make sure to subscribe. Come join the family. Turn on the notify, boys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.